you never gonna see him again, baby, you better go for what you know. You, know? Yeah. <laughs> you better fuck for your life. So the next time when he walk off, you gotta, he go, damn, she got some good pussy. You know what it is. <laughs> What's up? It's the City Girls. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a good taste on time. Like uh, like hey, am I supposed to be in this shot? Yeah. 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 If I'm flying out to you, I'm fuck you. Cause mm. I already know if I wanna fuck you off top. <laughs> Women already know who they gonna fuck. Like, for real, for real. What's good, y'all? It's your boy, Justin LaBoy, the king of toxic himself, the host of the Respectfully Justin Show on Revolt. Today, I got two very special guests. I mean, we all been waiting for it. I mean, they, they running shit. I mean, they the queens of toxic too. We got none other than the motherfucking city girl. Yes, sir, Ski. Welcome to the fucking show, queens. Listen, thank y'all for coming. Y'all look amazing. Thank you. We gonna get straight into it though. You know, we ain't, you know what I'm saying? We don't play, we don't politic too much on the show. We wanna ask you a question, both of y'all. Define a city girl. What does it take to be a city girl? You know what I'm saying? How do you qualify to be that? Let's talk about it. To be a city girl, you just gotta be on your shit. Cause a lot of bitches think being a city girl is a slut, bum ass bitch who just out here fucking, <laughs> who can't find no nigga to love them. No, you gotta find you a nigga that treat you right, spin a bread, mm. treat you like a queen. Talk that yeah. shit. And you still getting your motherfucking bag too. Ooh, now that right. city girl shit, not getting drug at home by your broke ass motherfucking me. Oh, wow. Talk <laughs> take a shot. Hey, yo, hold on. Take a shot to that. Please, let's take a shot to that, Josh. You heard that. She, she applying pressure on niggas early. <laughs> All right, well, we're going to get into the next question. How can you tell if a nigga really got a bag? Because a lot of these niggas be capped. You know what I'm saying? They wear their homeboy jewelry. Drive their homeboy cars, got the resources from their homeboys from being outside, and niggas be fooling these these women out here. That shit not cool. We not we not condoning broke niggas acting rich. So what is you know how you tell if a nigga really got a bag? What's the what's the red flags if he a broke nigga capping? I mean, I feel like these days it's hard to tell. Like it's hard to separate them. Like you really don't know. Damn. Like I, dead ass, I don't know. <laughs> you won't know. You won't know if a nigga broke for real until you start like living with them. So it's like it's yeah. tough <laughs> to like, like honestly. So if you just seeing a nigga for a day to day and these niggas be jet pulling, they be on other niggas' jets. They take their oh, pictures. Oh, talking the about it. Jets really is. They ain't taking the pictures, so you don't ever know who yeah. shit, what, when, where. So you, <laughs> you know, a lot of y'all ain't gonna never really find out if these niggas are broke or not because y'all seeing them on a day to day. Like yeah. they putting their shit on. They probably get like 5,000 to get you a little quick bag, but <laughs> you start asking every day and you get it. Yeah. Wow. Hey, hey, listen, y'all heard it here first. You don't know if a nigga really broke till you live with him and you with him every day. That's kind of tough though. Ladies got it hard. Like, you don't really know if a nigga broke or not till you live with him. But when, crazy. once you find out he broke, he gotta get the fuck out. Yeah. <laughs> are, you, yeah. Are, you, are you back old. in my prime yeah, like, get out. But, but what if he's grinding towards the greater goal, but he's 31 with a mixtape coming come out? Come back and get me. <laughs> 31 with a mixtape. You gotta come back when you he's gotta right? come back and get me, because I'm, I'm out. Wow, talk, it's a cold world out there. Y'all niggas better get y'all money together. Okay, cool. Y'all say if y'all were single when y'all was, what does someone have to do on the first date? that qualified them for the second date. So in you all situation, what type of pressure did a nigga apply to get that second date? You know what I'm saying? Let's talk about it. I ain't gonna lie, I want that whole nine yards the first date, like, bitch, take me, take me shopping. Take <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> me to the club, give me some ones. And like, yeah. you know me forever, shit. Oh, <laughs> Impress me. That's the first date? Yeah. So what a first date would you cost? I wanna go. 
Oh, the, I don't know. It appears. What's it the most a nigga like... blew on the first day? Just oh. to get to know you, respectfully. Just to get to know me? Yeah. Niggas like these days, it's like they send jets. Hold mm. on. Niggas sent the jet to, to get it. to say hi? Yeah, they be like, just come. Like, now that's, that ain't really nice. Like, niggas just doing it. Like, come see me. Mm. Wow. Right. So just give me a, a, a ballpark figure how much it took to get to know you. And you ain't even in a team, you just wanted to. Mm -hmm. Well, when I first got my baby daddy, he took me to the furniture store. And my furniture at that time came with like 50000 because I had like a little townhouse. Swear oh, to God. Hold on. A nigga blew 50. Wow. I got... Hold up. How about you? Let's talk about your first date. Who qualified him for the second date? <laughs> He's still he a real, <laughs> real rich nigga. Oh, well, the first day I met mommy. Ooh, talk about it. Look at that smile. <laughs> Y'all see that smile? Hey, yo, I know when the motherfucker happy and when they lying. That smile can't control itself. Okay. When Talk your shit, When man. I first met my man, I was still in a halfway house. So he came and see me. He came to Atlanta. That's I was still in a halfway house. That's real love. And he gave me, like, he had a bag full of money. And I had a little Chanel bag. And he was like, take as much as you can. Not like, the baby Chanel. And I only could fit 30000 in the house. So mad. <laughs> <laughs> He took me like to Louis Vuitton and Taco Bell. Taco Bell? <laughs> Hold on. How you go to Louis get 30,000 but eat Taco Bell? He's yeah, a real had, nigga. We had to make it quick. Cause I had to be back to the halfway house. Oh, I forgot you got curfew in that. Yeah. Wow. Shout out to him. Listen, let's take a shot to that. Real <laughs> niggas, when you get in the pursuit of queen, spend a bag, man. All that broke shit, that shit is not cool. win. And it's not it. That's not what we doing. All right, listen, we're gonna get to the next question. We coming straight to Young Miami with it. We not about to play around with this shit. <laughs> Listen, Queen, you tweeted, if you spend the majority of the money, you should be single. What should be covered once you're in a relationship? Everything. Mm. <laughs> you can't answer me. <laughs> well, I just feel like, for real, for real, like the rent, I feel like the most you could do is like a little light bill, maybe cable bill, maybe, but I feel like everything should be covered. Okay, cool. Mm. And that brings me to my next question. Do you think women should spend money at all in their relationship once they meet a once they meet a nigga? Of course. Like if you love your nigga so much, when you go to the mall, you're gonna be like, let me get my man these. We can make <laughs> mm. you know, like I'm gonna go get me a little Chanel shirt, maybe get him the sneakers. Yeah. Okay. Something like that. Like, you know, I gotta make sure my nigga spoil too. women spoil niggas too. Yeah. I didn't know that. I never dealt with that. I think all my women I've dealt yeah. with just they fucked up. They're in bad financial positions. Yeah, sometimes you want to surprise them. <laughs> they in bad financial too. positions. Ain't nothing wrong with them. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to carry the load, but I'm going to come to you. How soon should a nigga start paying bills when you meet them? Um, <laughs> when they feel like they really fuck with you. Yeah. Like when they feel like they really fuck with you, right. then that's when they start paying the bills. And I think that's when you really know when a nigga really start fucking with you. Mm. If they have it, some niggas ain't got it and some bitches still it. Choose to deal with niggas who don't have it. Mm. But if a nigga got it, you know he got it, when he starts spending it on you, that's when you know, like, okay. Right. <laughs> he true. fuck with me. Right. So, so, so all the young women out there who's with a nigga who don't have it and he's not doing nothing and they just having sex and getting high all day, what would you tell them? What's some advice for them? Because it's a lot of young, beautiful women going through that shit, so pop your shit. What I would like to tell y'all is, stop motherfucking worrying about me. <laughs> <laughs> Talk your shit! That's it, if y'all living like that, don't worry about me. That's the only the advice I can get y'all. Do y'all and let everybody do them. I ain't no judging ass bitch. If you right. wanna fuck with a broke nigga who play the game all day, then. Shit, do so it. <laughs> but you can't be a city girl if you're dealing with niggas no, like that. No, you can't be no city girl. Like, you just out here posting your nigga all day. He don't do shit for you. You waiting on him to make it. And he ain't gonna make it. Respectfully, I ain't gonna say he ain't gonna make it. I'm gonna say that when he make it, he might leave you. So you need to try to get you like a little... Eh, da, 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 see if <laughs> <laughs> Respectfully, y'all, listen. That's the first segment. That's the intro to the city girls on the Respectfully Justin Show, y'all. Respectfully. This is the segment. It's called Truth or Shot. If you don't want to tell the truth, you got to take a shot. If it's the truth and you want to speak your truth, we here. This is a safe place. But for us, we got some of y'all lyrics that we want to talk about. And you know, we got to speak about it. If it's the oh, truth, God. maybe <laughs> it might be the truth. It might have you just said it because it sounds good on the record. But God is watching, so we got to be honest at all times here. This shit's serious. Okay. okay. Lyric. 
I see this pussy, pricey these niggas like me. JT, you know we coming to you. <laughs> we not about to play. So do women really put a price tag on pussy? But, but before you answer, I'm not saying no pros, no, no clown shit. No. It's just you, you got a certain standard, you know what I'm saying, and the mm -hmm. level that you hold yourself to. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So that's just what, you know, there's a certain price tag before a nigga get to even get that intimate with you. Pricey, these pussy pricey. Yeah, hold up. Do we got the lyrics to that? Do we got that ready? Oh, okay. <laughs> um, well, I'm not gonna say my shit just at the grocery store on aisle five. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm gonna say it's worth it. Mm. Like it's real, real worth it. So, mm. yes, yeah, like, I don't know. Okay, cool. Oh, no? I know how to take a shot. Oh, you nah, told you the truth. Okay, I told the truth. You spoke your hold up. Matter of fact, you gotta just take a shot anyway for the culture, because you ain't take one yet. Oh. You wanna take one? Just one. Okay. Cheers. Okay. Take a shot if you love yourself. Cheers, cheers. Ladies in the crowd, y'all can take a shot too. It's a Where lot of beautiful women back there. I was, I was doing good. Love. Cheers, <laughs> love. Take a shot if you love yourself. Listen. You know we started with JT, so you know where we going next. Your lyrics are different. Yes. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We not about to play. You pop your shit on every record. Mm -hmm. Keep a nigga on my side, and my main boo never trip, because this pussy good as shit. <laughs> Yo, you shitting me, you shitheads? <laughs> Did you niggas listen to that? DJ, can we hear that shit one time? All right. Have you ever? Mm. <laughs> oh shit! All right, cool. We're not even about to play. She took her shot respectfully. I feel like we just we can't leave her alone. We gotta take our shot with her. You know what I'm saying? Oh man. Yeah, Truth for shot again. <laughs> we, you know where we just left. Okay. So we coming right back to you. You ain't been ducking no fades yet this whole show. <laughs> so you gotta you gotta keep it there. I ain't ducking no action. The lyric you said, you don't even know which one it's gonna be. Oh you my don't fuck so much shit. Cause I'll take your nigga and keep mine too. Don't let that go over your head. What you mean, period? <laughs> That's how y'all feel back there? Y'all ain't shit. Oh, um, wait, it, what song that was? Can you play it? Play the song, cause she don't even remember. She got so I many hits she don't remember. <laughs> in the rest of your crew, cause I take your nigga and I keep mine too. Okay, okay, okay. Hey, yo, all the women in the crowd ain't shit. Oh, yeah, I like that Why song. Why y'all love that one? They love this So song. how you answer that? But listen, is it true that women are taking niggas and keeping theirs too? Have you been through that? Tell your, share your story. This is a okay, safe place. Okay, like when I was younger, you know, back in my days, uh, and I okay. was like, you know, lit. I went out rusty. <laughs> 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 yeah, like if a bitch come for me, I still be talking to my man and talk to her man. Mmm, mm. you ain't shit. What's your song? I'm a Sagittarius. Sagittarius. Never mind. We're not <laughs> even about to do that. We're not even about to do that. Okay, cool. The next lyric, I'm gonna ask both of y'all. Okay. Rule one, never ever fall in love with some dick that you, meet up that you in met the in the club. club. Oh, go ahead, say it. Talk your <laughs> shit. Tiz, can we hear that I record, think please? Your rules. Re can we hear that, please, Tiz? Right. Never ever ever fall in love with some dick that you meet up in the club. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yo, y'all hear these lips? Like, what inspires y'all to talk about this real shit that y'all talk about? It's scary. I mean, this shit go on every day. Yeah, that shit real. You do. So, a bitch like, see a nigga tonight and be fucking him right after the hood. And he could be with his rich homeboy and be the broke homeboy. See, that's the... <laughs> talk about it. Because I've seen a lot of poor niggas 
trick up something they had no business even knowing because they was in the club with the right nigga handing bottles out. <laughs> All type of weird shit. You oh want to share God. a story Y'all about this shit? Y'all stay safe out here, man. <laughs> <laughs> Don't get crazy. Yeah. Man, I see it every day. I just be like, damn, I'm so clean. I don't need that life. Because <laughs> for real, you got to try to survive out here. And I'm yes. so glad God blessed me. I'm a rapper. <laughs> no, you're a rapper and you got a good nigga. But is it true that women should never fall in love with a man that they met in the club? Like, how does that work? I mean, I don't know. Like, maybe you will meet the right men in the club. I think that you should try to figure it out. Sometimes the nigga you won't. You probably not seen him before, and then you gonna bump into him in the club. Right. That's a fact. You know, it That's don't mean that you can't, you can't do what you want. I'm queen of do what you want. Yeah. Right. Nah, shout Respect out to that. I'm gonna cool. come to you. Okay. Is the club considered a date? So if I meet you and I invite you out, I might already pre had that plan. Listen, meet me at the club. Is that considered a date? Could a man say, you know what, our first date is at the club, or does it have to be a dinner? Or something. I'm, I'm wretched, so you can take me to the club. <laughs> Just have me some lemon pepper wings, 1942, and some money. That's a day. <laughs> but even back in the day, that's been a day for you. Yeah, like I like to have fun, so I like to go to the club. Okay. You know, eat my little wings, dance, shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, a lot of women out there saying the club ain't a day because you was already going. It's not very intimate. That's not considered something. That be them bitches that be preaching on Instagram. Yeah, Shut up. On oh, the woman. Talk to your shit woman. respectfully. <laughs> How you feel about that as a club, a date? If my man take me to the park a lot, that's the date, I'll be excited. Oh, <laughs> shit. I'm going with my nigga. I don't care where yeah, we go. So. Spend that time. Hey, yo, nah, shout out to that, because there's a lot of women who want, you know, specific dates. But, you know, quality time is quality time. I feel like, you know what I'm saying, just spending time together and being genuine with each other is a date. The next lyric we gonna get into, you gotta let these niggas know what you need. House, cards, credit cards, don't forget the fucking keys. Don't <laughs> let that go over your head, don't. stupid. <laughs> Please don't, you know what I'm saying? Is it true a woman gotta tell a nigga what she needs? Do you gotta, you know what I'm saying? Or a real nigga supposed to know off the rip? Oh my God. See, I don't want to keep talking because it's going to seem like, seem like I'm bragging. No, it's not. <laughs> you just, you being yourself. Speaking you're your humble. Truth. You're speaking your yeah. truth. I have a good man. Like, I didn't even know he was a good man. I was fucking with him for like almost two years before I found so out he was a good man. So you thought he wasn't and, shit before you found out he was a good man? <laughs> I don't even know him. I'm like, every day I be like, is that you? I be staring at him like, because I remember. And I have a good man. Like, he bring me flowers. He remember the shit I say I want. Like, if I got my favorite food. Oh, that's fire. That's fire. That's fire. Can we take a shot to that? Because a lot of women never get to experience shit like that. Yeah, he keep me flat. He go shopping for me more than he go shopping for himself. Like, he wow. give me a whole so, What's his sign? Like, if the He's lady want to find a nigga like that, what's his sign? <laughs> he a Leo. Don't look at my man, dog. Uh, <laughs> Listen, I, I don't know much about Leos, but you know what I'm saying? You might want to get you a Leo. You might want to get you a Leo. You, they might test you at first. But oh, you well, might want to get hold you on, a Leo. Hold on, hold on. So, for women out there who might meet a Leo, what does a test with a Leo look like? Like, what, you know what I'm saying? Because they might be going through it. What's the test you went through to find that good man, that king? Um, he tried my patience. A Why lot. you smile <laughs> so much? Why you smile while you talk about him? You really love that man. Yeah, but he tried my patience. Like he, he, like Leo's think they are very slick and they think they are very smart. But see, he ain't never met a bitch like me. I was on his ass. Mm. I was like, oh no, this is that, this and that. He was like, damn. I'm like, he ain't got nothing. So I was like, okay, let me tell you something. We gonna make it official. If we ain't finna make it official, we finna cut each other yeah. off. We've been doing this too long. He made it official. So you ain't play with him at all? No, after a while, you can't play with Leo. You got to put your feet down. Is either uh, they going to do it or they not. <laughs> <laughs> wow, shout out to the Leo. What do you feel? Do you feel like a woman got to tell a man what he needs? Or he's supposed to apply pressure off both. the top? Mix sometimes you it, it cannot be enough for you. So sometimes you got to be like, hey, you got to step it up. Or, you know, mm -hmm. I feel like it go both ways. Right. Hey, yo, shout out to that, man. Mm -hmm. I love city girls because, like, they make niggas step they shit up. You know what I'm saying? If you fucked up right now, you got to motivate yourself to, you know, go get your money right. You know what I'm saying? She done met a good man. They oh, both met good dang, men. Dang. And they applied pressure. So if you out there, you want something, you go get it, but you apply pressure. Listen, spoil your queen. It's okay. Mm -hmm. There's nothing it's wrong okay. with that. And that if you're not on that, don't count another nigga pockets. Like, mm. stop trying to patrol what another nigga doing for their bitch. That's not your bitch. You're not fucking that bitch. That's not your bitch. Mm. Mm -hmm. 
to you and let that nigga do him. Yeah. Hold on. So women feel like what your nigga do for you that he gonna do for them. They oh. out there. They out there, they got the game fucked up. Yeah. Talk your shit. I make sure I beg my nigga all day so a bitch won't get a quarter. <laughs> <laughs> By the time I'm done with him, he ain't gonna have nothing to give a bitch. So I don't know, don't come over here. <laughs> wow, well, you heard it here first, y'all. You know we play True For Shot with the City Girls on a Respectfully Justice show on Revolt. Take a shot if you love yourself. We gonna always get into it and speak about the shit everybody else is afraid to speak of. We got two of the realists with us. They ain't ducking shit. Let's talk about they it. They not ducking shit. Let's talk Respectfully. about it. Respectfully. So we gonna start up this shit. This is the first question of Demon Time. Which one of y'all wanna start off? I feel oh, like you have been a little shy. I, I feel like y'all been skipping like, cool. up first. Yeah. Demon, no, she been answering, but I feel like I've been going first. Go. Yeah, now nah, you been. Listen, we gonna come to you, Go. Queen. What do you do when you finally get to the sex stage? And you finally realize he isn't packing the way you thought he was. I'm mm. listen, shit happens. He loves you, he's a good nigga. He really <laughs> fuck with you. He's blowing the bag. He doing listen, he just that. got the shrimp. That she blowing the bag, good nigga, loyal. Shit just not where it need to be sexually. What am I doing? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Do not lie, God is watching. Like, it's the first day. No, y'all been, been vibing. He treating you like a queen spoiler. He might have put you on them jets you talk about. Um, and you find out he had the shrimp at the end. I'm a cheat. Mm. Oh, wow. I'm a cheat. I'm a cheat. Cause but I, like, but you're going to lock in with him, but still just cheat on him because he ain't doing what you need yeah, to do. Yeah, from time to time. Time to time. There's nothing wrong. What's your sign? Aquarius. Oh, my mm. God. Aquarius <laughs> done ruined me. That's why I am the way I am today. But that's another story for another day. What about you? You meet him, Bob. I say, the sex not if, you, if this nigga look good to you, he lit. I say, spill it on the first date. You ain't got to Hold on, what you mean, spill it? <laughs> Touch oh it. God. Do whatever you want. Queen, do whatever you want. So you ain't even got to go that far because. I can't stay with no man with no little dick. I'm so sorry. Y'all just Oh my me. God. Okay. It's, it's, That's I'm, not right. I'm at a level in my life, everybody lit. So I ain't gotta stay with no little dick. <laughs> <laughs> She's different. Cool. Y'all heard it? Yeah, Yo, you toxic. What made you this way? When did this start? When did you realize you was really like this? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm serious. Like you ain't just like you was born this way. <laughs> no, you just gotta know, like, for real, that little dick shit is sad. Like, <laughs> Like, y'all, like, yeah, I'm in a bad for grown-ass game with little D. Nah, like, yeah, nobody nah. ain't putting up trust. Yeah, you ain't they, they, they deserve a disability check. Yeah. <laughs> That's off the camera. That's off the record. <laughs> okay. JT, you know we coming to you. Oh, my God. <laughs> and the song you said, block your number, make you miss me. What does it take for you to block a nigga? What's, this, what's, what's, what's the pettiest shit a nigga did to get blocked? Breathe wrong. Oh, huh? No. You breathe wrong, I'm gonna block your number. Breathe wrong? <laughs> but I'm so toxic, we're gonna be in a bed cuddling the same night. <laughs> <laughs> Is he still blocked though? He's he'll still be blocked. blocked. <laughs> he'll be yelling like, unblock me. Like what does it take for a man to get unblocked after you block him? So, you so, t look at her smile when she, you love blocking niggas, I can see. Yes, I just blocked you because, like, you probably just made me mad, but I'm going to unblock you in probably, like, two days. <laughs> <laughs> the same day depends. I don't know. Yeah, blocking, unblocking on the same day, that's different. What about you? I ain't blocking that nigga. You don't block nobody? Probably, like, five seconds, because they don't even know what you're doing. <laughs> 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 nigga, I ain't going to block you because what you doing? Right. And I'm gonna, like, I'm going to query you, so, you know, I just know how to, like, in your bitch. You don't even know. Like, I'm gonna just sit there and be so quiet. You go and be like, bitch, what's wrong with you? Oh, okay. <laughs> but, but, but now I'm gonna, I'm gonna ask y'all a real nigga question. Okay. Right? Y'all got them verified pages. Mm -hmm. Da 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 da. Do you have a fake business page or a sneaky page where you gonna stalk <laughs> your nigga from when you don't wanna be in the views every time? Me don't lie, God is watching. Me and my homegirls got one. Yeah, we share one. <laughs> y'all share one? <laughs> oh, hope y'all listen. We gotta FBI. We <laughs> have to find that page. We know exactly what's going on. We see the bitch's name, the everything. We're like, oh, it's the page. Oh, he must be fucking with her now. <laughs> <laughs> you can't find our page. Our page too. It's like, like is, it, is 
it a nail page, a hair page? No. This bitch don't worry about it. Just know we on your ass. We, on your ass. we be on, we on y'all ass. Y'all ain't gonna see us in y'all views, but we see y'all. But what, but what makes y'all start searching that particular page? Is it she's in every comment, every like, the follow, follow at the end of the night? <laughs> What, what makes with you me, say? I gotta, I gotta. With me, like, I have to physically like see something. I ain't really like petty like that about no comment, no like. Cause if it's that serious, I could just ask him. But if it's like I'm trying to find my clues, oh, I'm on your ass. <laughs> Bitch, so, I don't count. Got no shame. Oh man, so you searched the location of the spot he was hosting, type shit? No, he don't host. <laughs> 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 but the the. Like, I'ma look at the backgrounds, I'ma zoom in. If me and him on FaceTime, I'ma screenshot where he at every time. Then I'ma look. Cause then that bitch calls me like in the like. Yo, you different. <laughs> and I'll go right back the to him. I screenshot him like, oh, your walls is blue, nigga. Them walls is blue. Don't wow. <laughs> so that's how that go. You wow. gotta be on these niggas, you gotta be on these niggas and bitches' ass. Don't have no shame, cause everybody these days act like they so perfect, bitch. When you into a nigga, you own their ass, you own. Mm. That's the truth. Like wow. the world ain't got so fake perfect, but these bitches is lying. They so cow. you admit you you a stalker a little bit. Yes, fuck your ass down. <laughs> <laughs> what about but, uh, you, Them days is over, though. Them days is far gone. Nah, you just said if you was on the phone with your man, you got a man. Don't Them shits is not far gone. They still here. <laughs> oh, he been my man for almost two years, but we just got official. Hold up, hold up. How long does it take for a nigga to deal with you before it's official, though? Is there a time know. limit? It ain't no time limit. It's, I, I guess it gets to the stage, like... Everybody, I want women to know that when you talking to a man, that don't mean y'all in a relationship. If y'all don't make an agreement that y'all are in a relationship, y'all are not in a relationship. Some That's people sit and think right. they're in a relationship with me. Yeah. You're delusional. <laughs> he said yeah. delusional. Right. Everyone is so delusional. Delusional. Oh delusional. Oh my God, me, I'm delusional. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. If we talk, text, nigga, you entertain me, we go together. Respectfully. Oh, my God. Yo, you yeah, you, gotta be you can't just, I don't you want no nigga decide doing that, that to me, because yeah. that's aggravating. Like, I don't want no nigga who I don't fuck with like that thinking that, because we talk, we in a relationship, no, we're just talking. So it was just like <laughs> timing and placing things. We so, had to so clean you up. So you patient. She... Nigga, it might be oh, the first no, day y'all go together. Be my man, like, I think you probably said every night, I don't know if it was you, but it was on Twitter. Like, an like, hour later, I love you. Damn, <laughs> so that's, that's definitely me. <laughs> What's your me. sign? Who fall in love that quick? Because I'm a Scorpio. I fall in love with real. There's something wrong with me. <laughs> and I get my heart broken. I'm not for that shit. Scorpios is just... Trying to be manipulators and think. Oh no, my! Why you go slander every sign? <laughs> the Leo, the Scorpio, no, me and period. You could be a motherfucker. So all niggas ain't shit, is what you saying? I mean, y'all gotta learn. Y'all gotta. They they shit for who they want to be shit for. Mm. Right. Don't let that go. Over Don't your head. let that go over your head. That was all. You could be a piece of shit, but her piece of shit. <laughs> she love it. All right, cool. We are gonna get into the next question. Y'all made a song saying broke niggas don't deserve no pussy, right? Why don't broke niggas deserve pussy? Like, what's wrong with that? Like, he's supposed to be celibate and never have sex because he's broke? Like, that's not fair. How you feel? I'm coming to you first. Damn. <laughs> broke niggas got the best dick. Right, so why they don't deserve no pussy? Cause it's like, yo, dick too good, get away from me. <laughs> Move, go, like you need some money. So them, so, so them homeless niggas, is, they get right. They gonna right. dick you down. They ain't got nothing, they got some dick. <laughs> <laughs> One thing about it, two things for sure, I was young and I had some broke niggas before. Right, yeah. so, so the rich niggas dick don't hit the same, is what you're saying? Huh. <laughs> <laughs> you might gotta take a shot to that. Cause you're not gonna duck no cause you gotta take a shot. Yeah. Alright. Please, shot. one more shot. We gotta pull her up a shot. You don't duck no questions. You you different. What's you don't you hot you cold. <laughs> Why don't broke niggas deserve pussy? Speak your piece. Because I mean to me, broke niggas just don't deserve no pussy because I feel like broke niggas always mad any motherfucking ways. They mad at life. They mad they shit ain't going high supposed to go. They always got an attitude. So I don't want no nigga who ain't got no money in a motherfucking attitude fucking on me, putting them negative ass spirits in the Negative spirits. Negative spirits is crazy. You're like... broke. You're mad all the time. You you just cunt. Like, you trying to tell me how I need to be living. What's ain't serious. But, mm. 
Fuck all of that. Fuck all wow. of that. Like, go on, get your money up and call me. We're going to get right into the next question. These are all y'all lyrics. Y'all got some of the most toxic lyrics in the history of music. That's a lie. <laughs> Who more toxic than y'all? I never heard it before. You. <laughs> I ain't got no records yet. I got the most toxic mind, but not the lyrics. Y'all said, bitch trying to get flewed out for the weekend. Listen, a lot of women get flown out. They getting flown out. I mean, like, is there a specific airline or seat on the plane? On the fly out? Because if a nigga puts you in seat 37C by the back bathroom, that's Does not a fly out. <laughs> nah. Spirit Airlines, not a fly out. Frontier, not a fly out. Man, so a plane not a fly out, out you got there. That's what I'm like. Hold on, hold on, hold on. A plane is a plane. Just make sure it's a round trip because bitches be getting stuck. Yeah. Just make sure it's a round trip. Hold on, that happens. Yeah. I see people on Instagram all the time get stuck somewhere. Getting stuck is I don't want to be on the... I ain't letting nobody play by me nowhere one way, no. Man, give me a motherfucking round trip. Round trip. Any airline, though? Round trip. Delta. First class. Or comfort. What? Delta, Delta first class, baby. <laughs> <laughs> or Jet Blue. Jet they got good first class. Oh, yeah, that would oh, be fake fly. Let me fake fly. Like fly food, Don't let that go over your head. <laughs> but listen, if a man flies you out, do you have to give him some pussy? Or is that got to be spoken about before that? I'm going to say, I'm going to speak for me. Talk your shit. I'm not flying out to no nigga. If I'm flying out to you, I'm fucking you. Because mm. I already know if I want to fuck you off top. Mm. So if I'm not going to fuck you, I'm not going to. Wow. Respectfully. Right I'm grown. <laughs> you grown. <laughs> what you got to say, queen? Um, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> fly, getting flu, well, it's like you fly me out. Nah, I probably won't fuck you, though. I ain't going to lie. Like, it, it, when you get there, you probably want to know the vibe. Yeah, yeah. Especially if you never like really met them, you just want to know the vibe. Everybody. Okay, cool. But some niggas got so much swag, you want to fuck them off real. Mmm, like like once you touch them. Like no, once you see them and feel their energy, like it just be like, all right, I know I'm for the fuck him. <laughs> <laughs> like, like women already know who they gonna fuck. Like for real, for real. Oh, okay. Like, How soon though? First five minutes, ten minutes after you meet them. <laughs> No. <laughs> Man, if, if she lets you fuck the first day, that means she already wanted to fuck you. Okay. So it got nothing to do with the nigga. She I don't decided think so. that. You don't think so? I think so. That's how oh, I think. Oh. If I don't let you fuck the first day, I really don't want to. Okay. Hold, hold, hold on. Uh, that's gonna... <laughs> Listen, that's going into my next question. Wait. <sighs> Yo, y'all different. What's wrong with y'all? <laughs> I love y'all. I love it here. <laughs> Listen, can you fuck on a first night and still be wifey material? How do you feel? Because a lot of women out there going through that, they feel if they fuck too soon, a nigga might play with them. First you know night, what I'm saying? I still get respect. Yeah. <laughs> you gotta fuck for your life. You gotta fuck for your life? You gotta fuck for your life. You gotta make it a life to remember. That's an interview. That's an interview. That's, that's an interview. A, that's a, that's a, you gotta do your best. Yeah. Oh, you you never know if you gonna see that nigga again. Hello. Oh, oh, man. That's a man. You don't know if you never gonna see him again, baby. You better go for what you know. You, know? Yeah. <laughs> you better fuck for your life. So the next time when he walk off, he go, damn, she got some good pussy on there. Yeah. <laughs> now, if you know your pussy ain't hitting on nothing, don't go in fucking the first night. Let a nigga get to know you. Yeah. <laughs> Let a nigga get to Show know you. If your, if, if, if your pussy, show up some personality if your yeah. pussy ain't good. If your pussy good, you can just jump out there. But, 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 <laughs> do you believe women know they pussy not good? Or do everybody? Because, like, women is quick to believe all type of shit. I you know what I'm saying? Know. Or not believe like shit. You know. you know if you're wrong. How you know? Because your nigga always what? cheat. <laughs> oh, oh, my God. Wow. I, and I also feel like good pussy has a lot to do with men, too. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. I got to like, take you there to make sure you get yeah, to that point. So mm. Sometimes you probably... Sometimes your pussy ain't garbage. Sometimes he garbage. And sometimes oh. it just be like... It don't get how I need mm. to get. But So... so Dry pussy is on a nigga. He ain't make it wet enough. It's his problem. He he couldn't get you there. It's a mix of both, I feel that. Mm, talk your shit. How you mm. feel, King? Nah, it's about that. No, you been quiet, though. Nah, yeah, you been quiet. <laughs> I'm just nah, You got to talk your shit. Saying, I feel it's a mix of both. We both got to make each other. You, you, you know. ever had some dry box and you took accountability for it? Gangster though, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes you might have nah, just, just backed just, your man out right away and might have been too too nah, gangster. I'm keeping it a buck. 
I put on, you know, I take my time. So, you know, <laughs> I let it marinate, and then when I catch it, I catch it the right way. Heavy on the marination, yeah. though. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But yeah, women don't believe a lot, but they quick to believe any nigga who say they pussy good. I, I don't understand that shit. This segment of the Respectfully Justin Show on Revolt is called Ladies Time. On this show, we give women a voice. We empower yeah. women here. You know what I'm saying? Y'all voice is always the most powerful. We listen to y'all. The shit y'all want to talk about, we gonna always listen to. The questions y'all want to ask, y'all get to ask them. This is a safe place, respectfully. We gonna start with the queen right here to my right, and we gonna work our way around the room. <laughs> they got some questions for the city girls. Make sure they good. Get your shit out. Talk your shit. Let's get it. All right, so for the aspiring city girls, how, how do you secure a nigga with a bag? Mm. What do we gotta do? Let's talk about it. Mm. Mm. I it? just feel like always be yourself. I feel like mm-hmm. sometimes people be, you know, when you get around a certain type of men, mm-hmm. you try to just be something you're not because you're just trying to be so perfect. Mm-hmm. I feel like it's all about you. So just be yourself. Like, and if a nigga gonna fall in line, they gonna fall in line. Mm. Fall in line? Not the fall in line. <laughs> That's different. What you gotta say, JT? Um, how to secure a nigga with a bag. Think outside the box. Mm. Outside the box? Outside the box. Don't think, like, don't try to follow the way. Just think outside the box. Go get you your own little vibe. Do you feel like you got to do something to keep him there? Kegels. Kegels? (laughs) 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 You heard heard it here. Kegels. Oh, my God. Heavy on the Kegels. (laughs) Uh Uh Uh-oh. You look good. Nice to meet you, queen. <laughs> <laughs> All right, my question is, how many times you got to fuck with a n- before he's off limits to everybody in your friend group? Oh. Wait, wait, what? I'm confused. Oh. So is it one time oh, no, that he's off limits? What you or is it? What you he off limits? He off limits. <laughs> Even like, if it's a, like, one night stand. What? See, now you got to fight. Because what? <laughs> what you even think about now? now. <laughs> What you even think like, about now? You gotta fight. Niggas. Like that's not cool. Where you from? San Diego. Oh yeah, that's some, that's some California uh, shit. That's some California <laughs> shit. <laughs> we don't, we don't I do ain't that. I'm saying your best friend. He's just I'm saying, saying any bitch in, in my group. motherfucking car, in my face, in my presence, yeah. breathe my air, bitch. If you even say hi, they don't look at no nigga I fuck with. Period. Mm. No, but you not fuck with. You fuck them one time. That's I don't give a damn. You know, especially if I don't fuck them, like, huh? That's that's weird. Mm. I don't I even like thinking like that around me. <laughs> nah, I feel that. She said I we gotta fight. That. It's different. Energy. Respectfully. Yeah. Uh oh. So we. <laughs> okay, so. Hey, yo, we got the most beautiful woman in the world on this show. Justin, don't let everybody go is in the, in, <laughs> Justin, want everybody in the audience, please. I don't. Right. <laughs> that, that, that Justin. Oh, oh my God, y'all are so <laughs> niggas. Go ahead. All right, so why would y'all hold a man down? New Orleans. I said, why? Like, why would you hold him down? Like, what would make you want to hold him down? Mm. Like, don't let nobody look at this. Don't touch this. This is. Why? Um, the way he hold me down. Mm. The way he hold you down? Yeah, like, mm-hmm. if he holding me down, I'm holding him back down. If I know, like, we got to understand it, we got to bond, I'm going to hold you down. So like security, what security? Um, just knowing that if if something go wrong, I could call that nigga. If like if he can't, he will. He ain't when you call an ex, he ain't saying damn that's crazy. <laughs> like, you know, that's like crazy. little shit like that. Nigga up in a damn that's crazy. That like that. <laughs> that's crazy. If a nigga that's damn that's wild. crazy, you crazy. <laughs> if a nigga damn that's crazy, you baby find you another like, king. Damn. Oh, Hey. Hi. Whoa, okay, shit. so my question is, you know, I know you said earlier we live in a fake perfect world. Mm-hmm. So what advice would you give to a woman? You know, she want to sleep with a guy. Should she play the good girl role or should she just, you know, just be upfront about it? Oh, you want to sleep with him? I mean, mm, talk your shit. I mean, if you want to sleep with him, then that's what you want to do. That's your body. Nobody right. owns your body. Like. Social media got people thinking that they are on a contract with these bitches we don't even sleep with. So if right. you want to sleep with that nigga, yeah, bust your period. Move. Yeah, mm, bust your nut. They ain't in your bedroom <laughs> at night. They got <laughs> clothes, baby. <laughs> period. <laughs> wow. Hey, yo, on this show, we always give the women a voice. I got one last question because this shit been on my mind personally. 
if you out on a date and you and you consistently with a nigga and his phone, the screen is always facing down while y'all out, is that a red flag? That nigga cheating, he got other bitches, or he just might wanna, you know what I'm saying? He don't wanna distract y'all, you know what I'm saying? He might wanna just curve My phone everybody. always down, so no. That's scary though. You say my your phone, phone always oh, saying what? Why the phone can't? I don't understand why people phone. I mean, the if nigga on a put date, a screen down like this every time y'all out. I don't even pay attention. They don't mean that. Just leave it like, up, bro. Yeah, no. You gotta leave your, your phone, phone up. In. You gotta leave your phone. Yeah. I, I love my phone. Right? My phone yeah. always in my game. I feel game too and meetings. sneaky when your phone down. Like, yeah, no, nah, that's that's For different. Real? Sneaky vibe. Why yeah. you feel like that? Cause like, why you putting it face down on the phone? Why I gotta put it face up? Cause that's how it. It might something might fall and break the screen. When you by yourself, the screen always up. Who said that? The phone always up when you by yourself. No, he said your phone go face up. Who said that? Apple, I think. <laughs> <laughs> no, y'all, no, you made that rule. It, no, phone go face down, like, you know? Okay, cool. So so do y'all do y'all go through phones at all? Do you got your niggas password? Should the a nigga have your password? If I see much. you put your pa um, password and you go to sleep, go I'm in that bitch. Oh, <laughs> man. If you find I'm somebody you fight him while he's sleeping. What you gonna do when he's sleeping? What, what I do is... I'm gonna get the phone because I need to go through it. Like, I need to really go through it. When you go through the text, you put the keyword in search. Oh my God. That I happened wake to me. Up I think at my mama's house. When I wake up, fuck nigga, get out of my house, bitch, you oh. try. Because oh. <laughs> I need to go through it, like, peacefully. Like, I gotta get. I gotta go so it. you need a crib with the phone? Oh my God. Hey, yo, Judge, I gotta tell a story. <laughs> Yo, one time Shorty took my phone, knew my password, went in the bathroom. Oh my God. Locked the door. I ran through that motherfucker. <laughs> ran through the fucking bathroom, went crazy. Oh my God. Mm -mm. Listen, man, I still blame her for going through my phone. Yeah, I can't trust you phone. for not minding yeah. your business. Now, honestly, I can say, even if it's not nothing in my phone, don't touch my phone, that's my phone. But you go through his phone, but no, he can't touch your phone. No, because me and my friends, like, my friend's business in my phone. Yes. Don't do that. that. His it's heavy. Well, his yeah, right. I ain't gonna say nothing. Oh my God. No. 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 We're not doing that. I was able to go through, it, go through his phone one time, and it went dead as soon as I touched it. And when I finally, like, was crawling on the floor. And crawling got the on the floor? What type of shit I you into? I got went the to? charger and got in the bathroom. All I heard was him call. I'm like, dang. I didn't get my mom, but I seen, like, a, like what I was trying to get to. But I feel like that's when we just looking for stuff. Like when I'm just with my nigga every day, we vibing, he treating me good. I'm not trying to go through your phone. Like I'm not even trying to look for no problems. If if, right. if it's a problem, a bitch gonna have to bring it to my front door. Mm. Cause I'm not looking for no problems to fuck up my own happiness. If I'm happy, I'm good. Okay. I'm not looking through your phone. It's yeah. no, but if, if you acting flaky, then I'm going through your phone because yeah. I'm gonna see what's up. Right. So there's a respectfully way to cheat. Treat her right and she <laughs> that phone. That's no. what I heard. I heard that shit. No. Y'all heard that too. No. Just don't go through just don't go through each other's phone. If y'all could go, I mean, it's it's nothing. Like, yeah. that's your phone. I don't want nobody going through my phone. You can. I get my nigga, my phone be in his pocket. You a lie. Uh, he right here. Up. He's really right there. You got the password, King? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think he got the password. Well, I got the password to his phone. Mm. And one of them don't got a code. And I'll be having them bitches in my purse, in my pocket. That's the, so bu that's the business line. Don't text them, don't call them, don't do nothing, because I got them phones and I see everything. Wow. Shouldn't yeah. me, shouldn't have. <laughs> hey, yo, let's take a shot of this deli on before we wrap up this show, man. You know, we got to always toast oh. huh. to the, to the, with the best of killer in the motherfucking world. Oh, shit. And it's I black on. Yeah, Black I ain't got nothing home. in there. Yes, sir. Oh, okay. Okay, the big homie. And yeah, we got to stand up to toast to the big homie. Nah, nah, I'm going to tell y'all like this. Don't nothing get me outside but the city girls. Oh, <laughs> man. And you got that Yo. love chain. No, it's nothing but love. It's a love era. It's, it's a beautiful time in life. Right. It's the love era, so I just came to spread some love. But I wanted to give this toast. I wanted to come and just tell y'all. We started at Revolt, which is one of the only black owned media companies that's out there. We started with a purpose, you know what I'm saying? To give ourselves a voice as a culture. So we started with the Breakfast Club, then we went to Drink, Drink Champs, Champs yeah. and then we went to State of the Culture. And now the show that has broken all the records for Revolt is my son's show, the executive producer. Oh. 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 Congratulations. Hey, 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 number one show yeah, in the history of Revolt. The love. biggest show into the city girls. Hey, yo, Josh. Cheers. Cheers. City girls. Cheers, queen. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers, queen to all the queens. Wrapping up the Respectfully Justin show on Revolt, the new Revolt, the biggest revolt with the city girls. 
Mm -hmm. The EP, Justin Combs, the youngest, flyest <laughs> nigga in this shit. You know what I'm saying? If you on YouTube, you on Instagram, you on Twitter, tweet me. We show love. But, uh, you know, we, we, we ended up, we ended the show talking about phones and, and phones being down and all that. Listen, I'm going to be real with you. That phone down, that motherfucker cheating. They got shit <laughs> going on. We ain't about to lie. You, you sneaky. You got shit going on. That's you know what I'm not saying? sneaky. For real, that's not that sneaky. Is, that, no, that's that not. That is, that is that's, sneaky. No, it's not. Yeah. Thank y'all for tuning in, y'all. The Respectfully Justice Show on Revolt, the new Revolt. Shout out to the city girls. Make sure y'all tune in, man. It's the biggest show in the motherfucking world. Respectfully. Thank y'all for coming, queens. Can I get that period? Yes, sir.